O the B I V L E. Yes, that's the book for me. I read and study and then obey the B I V L E. O the B I V L E. Yes, that's the book for me. I read and study and then obey the B I V L E. D. Hey, remember that ten dollars you borrowed from me last week? Hey, I'm going to pay you back as soon as. Ah, oh, well, wait, wait, wait. I need it now. The feed stores just got. A new shipment of baby chickens. And I want to get some before they're all gone. Red, I don't have your money yet. I need a little more time. Really? It's been over a week. Listen, D, I didn't want to do this, but if you don't pay me my money, I'm going to have to take your basketball till you pay me back. No, please don't, Red. I promise I'll pay you back as soon as I can. I won't be able to play basketball at the Y. I won't get to practice my jump shot or my dribbling. I can see my NBA career flying out the window right now. Okay, D. I, I, I tell you what. I won't take your basketball. And better than that, you don't have to pay me back the ten dollars at all. I'll forgive you of your debt. Thank you, Red. Thank you so much. Listen, Booster, I loaned you a dollar a few days ago, and I'm going to need you to give it back to me today. Look, Booster, I don't really care that you need a few more days to get the money. I need it now, and if you don't give it to me, I'm going to put you in a cage until you do. Look, Booster, why why are you in that cage? Look, what? D, did you really put him in that cage because he owes you money? Well, he should have paid it back. D, I forgave you of that of your debt that you owed me. So why could you not forgive Booster? Do you think that God would want you to forgive Booster? Jesus tells a parable in Matthew chapter eighteen. That tell the story just like this. Let me tell it to you and all the others out there listening, so you will know what Jesus teaches and forgives. Jesus began the parable by saying that the kingdom of heaven is like this king. He is going to tell Peter about the king wanted to balance the accounts with his servants. While the king was looking at the accounts. He found that one of the people that was brought to him owed him ten thousand dollars, but the servant couldn't afford to repay the king ten thousand. The servant was told that he was to be sold, along with his wife and children. All that he had would have been to be would have to be sold to repay that payment. The servant fell to his knees and begged his master to be patient with him. Just be patient with me, and I will find a way to repay the ten thousand dollars that I owe. The master was so full of compassion for the servant that he told him, "I forgive you of your debt, and you do not have to repay me the ten thousand dollars." But then, that same servant who was forgiven forgiven of his debt. Went to another servant that owed him a hundred dollars. The man that was just forgiven of his debt grabbed the servant that owed him money and took him by the throat. He told him that he had to pay him back the one hundred dollars that was owed. The man fell down at his feet and begged him to have patience. He said, "I will pay you back the whole one hundred dollars that I owe you." But the servant wouldn't forgive him, another and wouldn't give him another chance to repay the money. He put the man in prison, and then the man had to stay in prison until he could repay the one hundred dollars. When the other servants heard about what the man had done, they were very upset. 
They went to their master and told him that the servant, what the servant had done. The master called for the servant and was very angry. He told the servant, You are an evil, sinful man. I forgave you of your debt. You begged me to remove the debt because you could not repay it. And I did forgive the debt. And you shouldn't, sh and shouldn't you have the same compassion for others just like I had for you? The master was so angry, he sent the servant to, the, to prison until he could repay all the money he owed. Jesus finished the parable by saying this, God expects us to forgive others from the heart and really mean it. Because if we don't, then he won't forgive us of the things that we do wrong. I feel terrible at how I treated Booster. Here, come out the cage right away. Bukuk! Booster, you don't have to pay me the dollar you owe me. I forgive your debt. I want to be a person Jesus is proud of, so I want to do the best and follow what he teaches me. That's a great way to be more like Jesus. D, he forgives us even if we do wrong many times. So we should always be willing to forgive others. Let's pray now and ask Jesus to help us have a heart and that is always willing to forgive others like he forgives us. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, once again, we thank you so much for all the many blessings you have given us. and Thank you for the many parables you have provided. And Again, Lord, we ask you just to help us forgive others. and We also ask you to forgive us. We also thank you for Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. Oh, the B-I-P-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I read and study and then obey the B-I-B-L-E. Goodbye.